And I've never said that to a studio audience ever. <laughs> oh, we've started. We've started. Hey. <laughs> Are you covering it up all right? Mm -hmm. We have to cover up my thin, reedy moustache. <laughs> I'm trying to grow a moustache for Movember and I'm trying to put off the inevitable hate tweets. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to try and cover it up every night. But you can't see it from there, but when you get up close, you can see it. And so the guests are kind of looking at me going, what's that? <laughs> Is it covering up? Mm -hmm. That's all right then. I've got other things that, never mind. Uh, are we good? To you and Lisa, everybody. Are you right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Available at all fine bookstores. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'm you ready. start then. Let's do okay. it. Okay, I'll be here at the fire and then you start. Okay, all right. Jeff, what am I doing? You're roasting your one testicle by the fire. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I am roasting, not roasting it. Well, you, if you stand there long enough. <laughs> Have you ever had roast testicles? <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Somebody there was like, no! Oh. I was like, no, it's a thing they eat in certain uh, countries uh, the, the, in the Midwest. Yeah. They, they, yeah. No, what do they call it again? The, the bull's testicles, the uh, bull's prairie, oi prairie oysters? Prairie oysters. Yeah. yeah. What do you call it? What? Rocky, Mountain Rocky Mountain oysters. Rocky yeah. Mountain oysters, yeah. Yeah, Rocky Mountain oysters. You ever had that? I've had a couple of those, yeah. <laughs> when you had a couple of them, were they from the same gentleman? No, they were not. <laughs> How can you tell? <laughs> Well, you just turn your head and cough. <laughs> well, <I'm> just... <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a skeleton robot try to hold in laughter. No, I... <laughs> you know, I think we should get some makeup and try and cover up your thin, reedy moustache. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming in nicely, though. It's yeah, it's your, yours is coming in faster than mine. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't, mine isn't going to come, I keep trying to, like, we keep putting makeup on it, because the last time I tried to grow a moustache, people went crazy. They got very angry. They, they got get very angry. People were like, take it off, yeah, it looks terrible. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they were, they were talking about this show, not your moustache. Oh, is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Oh, yeah, hand. no, no. No, they're on my side. They hate you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I can grow a damn moustache. Ah, come on. with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by T-Mobile. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. They just stopped. They just stopped right there. I was like, oh, no. They were like, ah. They're like, nothing. They're very obedient to you. Yeah, very obedient. They obey my every command. Do it again. Hurry up. Stop. Wow. <laughs> that, that, the welcome they gave me, I was like, you 
so hard my hair danced like a monkey. Yeah. No, that's what happened, because the warm-up comedian... Now, we call him a comedian. Yeah, he is not a comedian. He's not a he comedian. Not a comedian. <laughs> but not a professional comedian. No, he's just some guy. He was he's a homeless guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> he's a good guy. It's though. fine. He's a good guy. Anyway, before I came out, he said to the studio audience, he said, uh, so hard! <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hard, his hair will dance like a monkey! And I was like... <laughs> Jeff, have you ever... Yeah, been, been, yeah. Mm, yeah? Yes, uh, I have, yes. And your hair danced like a monkey? Yes, it did. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Why are you giving me that passive-aggressive look, man? He's giving me a buzz, like, stop talking about this. Just don't do it. <laughs> You're a racist, racist. man. Racist. You're a racist. Racist. He hates Scottish people. He does, and monkeys. And monkeys, yeah. Yeah. Especially uh, Bieber's monkey, which is now in German. It's a German monkey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Justin Bieber left... You don't know this? <laughs> Justin Bieber left his monkey in Germany months ago. You're, 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 you're catching up America on old news stories. That's good. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. <laughs> if you... <laughs> No, it's true, but that monkey's still there. He's the monkey's still there. like, you know, please hand me the banana. <laughs> Why don't you make my oh, hand no, make the yeah, banana? Right. <laughs> okay. It's a great day for America. <laughs> now, it's Friday. It's, it's Friday. Friday, of course, but not just any Friday. It's a very... If you know anything about me, this is the, okay. year, the day I wait for a whole year. <laughs> this is a real day, and it's today. Today is World Vasectomy Day. Yes. 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 So, to celebrate, I've arranged a special Oprah-style surprise for everyone in the audience. Yeah. Yeah, and especially you. Yeah, you get a vasectomy, you get a vasectomy, you get a vasectomy. And underneath your seats, you'll find a pair of scissors! Yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny how they really got a lot less enthusiastic all of a sudden. Yeah, they did, yeah. It was like, they were like, ah! Now they're like, ah! It is a great day for the, not just America, the state of Texas, which considers itself America, because... <laughs> The last person being tested for Ebola has come back clean. So congratulations, Texas. Texas is now Ebola-free. Big week for Texas. They are Ebola-free and uh, Democrat-free, apparently, yeah. as well. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, Democrats and state legislators uh, are at their lowest level since the 1920s. Oh, oh Greg. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Obama has a can't-miss strategy to save the party in 2016. He's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Craig. We're, we're Democrats. I know. Lighten the f up. Anyway, look at that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're Democrats. It's, 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 it's Hollywood. Oh, I man. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's Gwyneth Paltrow country here. Sure, sure. That's the, that's the kale party. Yeah, yeah. Party. Anyway, it's been very, it's been a very uh, 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 crazy week. <laughs> oh, it's just been... Yeah, nice. yeah, that's a late night thing. Yeah. You say it's been a crazy... Hasn't it been a crazy week? Hasn't it been a crazy so week? Crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's been a crazy week. Oh. <laughs> Country and Music Awards were on Wednesday night. I watched it. Everyone there looked so happy. Might have been something to do with the Republican sweep. Oh, uh, <laughs> All my favorite country music stars uh, showed up. Garth Brooks, Keith Urban, George Strait, uh, Chester Giddyup. Uh, <laughs> who else was there? Yeah, Bubba, Bubba Diabetes. Bubba Diabetes. Uh, <laughs> Bertha Jane, Catfish, Billy Ray, Truck Knuckle. You got it? Yeah, there was uh, Hank, Har Hank Hardwack. Hard, Har <laughs> wow. Hank, Hank Hardwack? Hank he Hardwack. was there? Yeah, he was there. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Garth McFist Pistol. Sure. Uh, Good old, uh, good old Harry Crack pick. <laughs> and of course, who, uh, you know, oh. St Steve Hat. Oh, Steve Hat. <laughs> oh, wow. Not a lot of people know Steve Hat. <laughs> <laughs> this audience are like, yeah, move on. We're yeah, done man, with this. Done. All right. Do you, Forbes magazine named Vladimir Putin as the world's most powerful leader. And I'm like, Oprah's going to be pissed. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. Anyway, congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Russian for congra uh, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. He talks like Dracula. Like Dracula yeah. He does. Yes, you're Putin, yeah. <laughs> Do you know that all
Oliver Stone says he's going to make a movie about Putin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I can't believe anyone would want to work with that insane communist. And Putin is a little crazy as well. <laughs> yeah. You're watching a guy that no longer gives a rat's ass. Yeah. <laughs> you ready, Ed? Yeah. Let's do it. You're watching the Late Late Show World Vasectomy Day Special. We'll be back in two snips. Sounds like your monkey's dancing. Yes, my monkey is dancing. <laughs> Celebrity phone in Friday. <laughs> mm. uh, yes. Well, how you doing? It's uh, Steve Hat. <laughs> well, that's a celebrity. That's a celebrity. Yeah. Steve I, Hat. It's not, it's not real though. Yeah. He's, it's All right then. Uh, Steve, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here, partner. <laughs> Uh, congratulations uh, at the Country Music Awards. Yeah, my hit single, Please Don't Milk Me, was a real... <laughs> I'm playing now with uh, Bobby Joe Cattlegroper and the Filthy Utter Band. That's All right, that's enough. Wow. He's doing a bit. Oh, okay. No, hang up the phone, man. I'm done. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm still here, man. <laughs> hey, uh, it's the Jay Lano Fly. <laughs> Pretty good, not bad. <laughs> the Jay Lano Fly was replaced by the... The Jimmy Fallon Fly. Jimmy Fallon Fly. Look at me, wow, I'm a fly. Whoa, cool, look at me, awesome, neato. Whoa, whoa, this is awesome. How'd I get this job? I don't know. Whoa, here we go, whoa. Then the uh, extremely rare... Very rare Craig Ferguson Craig Fly. Craig Ferguson Fly. Ooh, look at me, it's a great day for America. Ooh, cheeky monkeys, oh, look at me. Oh, there's some haggis, I'll go sit on it. <laughs> What about the very, very rare uh, Jimmy Kimmel fly? The Jimmy Kimmel fly. Yeah, go All on. Right. Give, a, okay. give a shot. I don't, uh, this is a true story. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. What? Don't look at me, man. It's a fly. I don't okay. Look at me, look at what time is it, Jeffrey? <laughs> it's, it's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from Craig Ferguson, who keeps you informed about news stories from several months ago. <laughs> My name is Scooter, I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you go tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And emails. Uh, all right, this is from uh, this is from Connie in Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh, Honolulu. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to Honolulu? Sure, a couple. Yeah, yeah. I used to hang out with Don Ho. <laughs> It wasn't Don Ho, was it? <laughs> no, it was, it was John Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Connie says, uh, Craig, what do you do when your teleprompter stops working? <laughs> oh, <come on>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, teleprompter. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, come on, I want to lay you. That's because she's in Hawaii. Yeah, I get what you're oh, All right. Uh, this is from Mark in Tucson, Arizona. You ever been there? Oh, Mark, you know it. <laughs> Says, Craig, uh, is there one big secret you would share with an up-and-coming young comic who wants to make it big? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> is there a secret you would uh, share with a yes, young comic? If, if you pass away and they exhume your bones and ask you to do a late-night talk show, say no. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hello, 
who's this? Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, right, come on. Steve Hat again? Why would you hang up on that? was Matthew McConaughey. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, Steve Hat or Matthew McConaughey? Oh, man, I guess you thought I was Steve Hat. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> What's going on, man? You know Steve Hat? You familiar with his work? He's real good. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard a couple of his songs. Yeah, I love his songs, man. N name a couple of his songs. Uh, Stay Away From My Udders, Man. <laughs> those, those aren't my teats. <laughs> and watch, watch the cleats on the carpet. That's my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. Watch my cleats on the carpet. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's very windy tonight. They're it all is very around. windy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. This is from Axel in Denver, Colorado. It says, uh, you ever been there? Yeah, Axel. Yeah, Axel? You say Axel? Axel, yeah, yeah, Axel. Look, he's a fine-looking gentleman, oh, my actually. He looks like our yeah. national bird. Striking, striking man. Yeah, uh, it says, uh, Craig, the other late-night guys seem to worry themselves to death about every joke. How can you be so carefree every night? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of passive-aggressive, wasn't it? A little bit, a little bit. That's kind of like, hey, I got a map, Axel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's sitting there. Yeah, hey, you think I didn't see? I know what you did. I know what you did there. Yeah, stop writing in, Jay Leno. <laughs> Who's this? Is yeah, this Jay Leno? Yeah, Jay Leno. How you doing? That's pretty good. Good dog. Did you get my letter there? It's a little joke there. It's some kind of funny. I've lost my friggin' mind here. You know. Steve Hat. You know. Hell. All right, uh, well, there you are. We got some good stuff coming up. Or you want to tease anybody? <laughs> you know, the audience, you want to get them ready? You want to get them excited? The people at home, something coming up, something big coming up. Uh, sure. Um, uh, <laughs> well, uh, the, no. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, add a little spice, a little something. <laughs> Knock it off. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. My first guest tonight, very, very funny man, tall, handsome, smells delicious. Oh, he's just Oh, he gosh, yes, he you, sm you smell this guy? He's oh. like a cross between a bakery and a sexy rich lady. Oh, you know it. You know he it. He hosts uh, Jimmy Kimmel Live weeknights on the ABCs. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel, everybody. Jimmy you for a long time. I, yes, I wanted you here a lo for a long time. One of the things I've been wanting to ask you is, yes. if you're going to tear the card up at the beginning of the segment, yes. why even have the card? Ah, you asked the question and I don't really know the answer to it. I think what happens is kind of an OCD thing. Oh, okay. I like, to, I like to have something to do with my hands, otherwise I might get grabby with the guests. When, <laughs> when someone gives you a birthday card, do you tear that up too yes. and throw it at them? Yes, in their face. Because I'm told... <laughs> That there are people back there working very hard on those cards, and you're tearing them and just throwing them into the air. You know, they're not, because what happened is they noticed I tear them up, so they pretend to work on I the see. cards. They don't work on them anymore. I got you. All right. Hey, now 
you know, understand. You, you look great, by the way. You look uh, reservoir dogsy. Thank I you. Like Thank it. you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I should loosen my tie. Yeah, loosen your right? tie. Come I on. Mean, come on. I'm gonna relax. Nah, you're not yeah. in the big time now, buddy. This is the minor <laughs> leagues. You're fine. <laughs> I've actually come to say goodbye to you. Um, oh, oh no, 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 that's nice. What are you on them for? <laughs> Maybe it was one of those all oh, that sweet Oz, you know, it could have been Not from them, no. <laughs> Why are you leaving the show? Because I can't take it anymore, man. I can't what? live by the rules. <laughs> <laughs> what rules could there possibly be? You've got a robot and a horse and you've got tchotchkes all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I see. I don't see. I, I see. You do it differently. You have your family there. You show, and you, you go do. to the show every day, and, and the family are there. My family don't work here, so I have to go and commute. It's too much. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, Plus, I, 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 I can't do it anymore. I, I can't a... do it anymore. <laughs> what is it about it that bothers you? It's so not, much? It doesn't bother me. No. I, I still enjoy it, but no. I, I kind of feel like. I've done whatever I was gonna do with it, and now I'm done. And I, if I keep doing it, I, I can't. Uh, a little something here in America, it's called uh, beating a dead horse. Right, right, yeah. yeah. No. I don't... That's what, yeah. We don't quit jobs here. No, no. We get fired from jobs. We don't leave them voluntarily. No, no, no. This makes no sense to me at all. No, I'm not quitting the job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk the earth and solve crimes. <laughs> did, did you ever, did you ever watch Kung Fu when you were a kid? Yes. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm gonna do that. No, I don't think you are gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm gonna walk from town to town, and people will go, "Get out of here!" And I'll be like, "No, I'm actually from Scotland, and I can solve your crimes." <laughs> It's a remarkable run. You've been on, what, 11 years? 10. 10. Oh, you've okay. been on a... Uh, I've been on 12 years. 12, Almost yeah. 12 years, yeah. I think, yeah, you came on right after um, I did. You're right. And, um, and I You thought, were very nice, I remember, because you sent me a card when I started here, and it said, I remember it, because it stuck in my head, it said, congratulations, uh, I hope you know what Crikey. you're getting into. Uh -huh. uh, at that time, yeah, things were very black for me. <laughs> yeah, well, I used to be on. I, I asked you to be a guest, and I, I I wanted you to be a guest on the show, and we used to be on against each other. And then you moved you moved up into right. the big time, and I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Is, that's not why you left, though. I mean, that's no. if you'd moved up, would you have stayed? No, man. No, no. that'd be even worse. Then there would be more of guys like him telling me. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> No. Well, he's a racist. I mean, well, he is yeah. a racist. You can't. Yeah. Not everyone's like that. Right. No, well, it seems like there's enough of them, you know. <laughs> it's when they say things like, hey, could you do this? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. See, the thing is, I think you're very good at this, and this is... Oh, you're very good at this. No, let's not make any... Uh, I'm good at now. this. You're I don't know good if I'm this. good at... I don't know, I don't know if I'm good at, at the, the late night. You're not going to be good at fighting crimes. Yes, I am. Know. Yes, I am. No. Yes, I am. You are not going to be good at that. Yes, you're, I... You're too loud to fight crime. <laughs> the criminals will know you're coming from miles away. Well, you have a point. I think you should reconsider this. I think you should march right into CBS no, and no, go, no, you no, know no, what? No, no, no. I'm going to stick around a little while longer. It, it, it... First of all... No, no. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no, yeah. I was just finally trying, figuring out what you're saying. I mean, the accent... No, I, di I didn't get a word of that. Try it again. <laughs> the accent was very difficult for me to follow. Right, It yes. took me a full nine years to follow you. <laughs> and what now you have you're to leaving. Do is, uh, everything is just basically, oh, Shrek, farty donkey. There, <laughs> that, everything else is a variation of that. That's all I'm saying. How much for the robot? Are you selling it? I think the, the robot, hell, man? you know, I think the robot is kind of auditioning for you because he was like, hey, anything coming up? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? And then I thought, he's trying to be like a real late night sidekick. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Coming up, we got the Hat Brothers, Steve and Bob. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Sure. Good to see you, man. Good to see I'll you. I'll give you 800 bucks for him. No, uh, man. No. No, you want a, a grand uh, for for the robot and the horse. Uh, all right. Well, listen, I'm, I'll take everything. I, I'm, no, I'll no, no, I couldn't do it. We, we, they're not for sale. We are, we're going to walk the earth together. <laughs> <laughs> please, please take me with you. No. Please take me with you. No, let me, please. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How do you keep doing it? Because I I can't. Um. 
I don't, well, how do I keep doing it? I don't know. It's fun. It's a fun job, right? It's yeah, not but you can't have fun all the time. That doesn't sound Scottish at all. Here's, <laughs> here's what I have learned. Right. Whatever I have to do, I don't want to do it. It doesn't matter what it is. I learned this, actually, when I was hosting The Man Show many years ago. I, I like that show. Driving. Yeah. That was a good show. And I was driving... Girls on trampolines, That's one right. of the classics. Uh, I was driving to the Playboy Mansion, <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, we got to get this over with. And there were going to be naked girls there, and that's when I realized I was jaded beyond repair. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> and yeah. so I always figured, like, whatever it is, I'm not going to want to do it, so I might as well do the thing that I don't want to do in the first place that I'm already doing. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. This is what I'm trying are you, to... Are you in therapy? <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm, I'm, concern, yeah. I'm concerned that, that that isn't the way to approach it at all. Think. Think. It's like, we, it's a short time on this planet, man. It's a date, and then a hyphen, and then another date. And we're the hyphen. And I'm like, I'm not spending the whole time talking to okay. celebrities, man. I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, I understand that, you know, everybody feels... It's not that I am ungrateful for the job. I've, I have loved this job very much. You just have had enough. All right. Well, right. it sounds like you thought it out. I thought maybe it was one of those things that you impulsively made this decision, and then you, you went and you said, this is what I'm going to do, and now you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, but now it's too late. And oh. really, by the way... No. That, the facial hair is unacceptable. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really unacceptable. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not. It's just that we're, next week I'll reveal you what's under here. You should do it this hair, week. Yeah. It's too. It's it's really. It's disturbing now. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. I'm inclined to like... put saliva on my thumb and clean you. Go on. <laughs> we'll be right back with Jimmy Kimmel. We'll be right back. I'm here with Jimmy Kimmel, who's a late night talk show host, eh? You have the best mug in all of late night television. Yeah, There's that's no good. About that. Mary McCormack gave me this because apparently I have some kind of Freudian thing about my penis. <laughs> well, I think we all do, right? Oh, do we, Jimmy Kimmel? All right. Let's, uh, do you think about your penis a lot? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't think about mine I have at to all. Say this: but I'm very grateful for my penis. I really am because. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my iPhone. <laughs> I mean, when you're talking about your prized possession, that's it right there. Gosh, I, I wish I had one of them new fancy ones, because I've still got the slow one. <laughs> you're more than welcome to borrow mine. You know I'm European, right? So, so I will. Yeah. Anyway, James, we're out of time. Oh, we're out of time. Mm -hmm. Well, that went too fast. Oh, hold on a second. You knock it off with the all, will you? <laughs> hell! <laughs> Jeez. Do you get good audiences? Because I don't know where the hell I get these. <laughs> you have a very, very good audience. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they seem very good. Yeah. 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 Well. <laughs> Jim, I gotta tell you. We are out of time, but I, I want you to know how grateful I am for your support and, and for you being here and for being so nice over the years. You are a true gentleman, sir, and I wish you continued success and in the I would late like night to life. say, I think you, and thank you, by the way, that's very nice of you to say, I think you do a great job here, and I think you will be missed. Well, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you, but not in towns where crimes are being solved. is a delightful actress. Isn't she beautiful, She's Jeff? wonderful. She's wonderful. wonderful. Uh, best known for her work on Community. She'll be starring in The Odd Couple next year on CBS. Yvette Nicole Brown! They're 
very nice. They're very nice. Hi, guys. They're, they're very excited to see you, as am I. I, I have to say, you, you, you look sensational. Thank I mean, you. really good. That dress is like, oh, what's going on here? I've never been this naked and fully covered in my life. Yeah, it's... I can see. It's all... It's covered, Craig, but I feel very nude is, right is now. Is it... Yeah. Is it covered? Because the mesh looks like... The, like, like... And then there's uh, well, things... Well, don't stare too long, because I hope everything's covered, I think. Well, no... I'm sorry over on this side. I'm... Ooh. I think everybody's fine. Yes. When you say don't stare too long, what, how long is too long? I'll give you three seconds. Okay, you ready? Well, tell what? me when it starts. Okay, we're starting now. <laughs> I did it! You said three seconds! You know, I, I just felt my heart and it was beating so fast. Oh, I, hey, are you... Is it, maybe I'll help you out. Oh, you do know, you have but, the little thing? Yeah, I got the, the, the Tom Cruise Thank stool you. and case. Okay. There you go. Yeah. That it? That this better? Is it. Yeah, there you are. This is for Pee Wee. How are you? You look I'm great. Good. I mean, really lovely. You look good too. I'm glad Jimmy mentioned the um. Oh, the, the, the little yeah. thing. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. No, it's kind of like. I kind of like it. It's like flesh colored. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> you guys don't see what you, we see. Well, up you here. can't see, but see what it is. Is it's growing in, but it's but why only. Are you high? It. Well, I'm only hiding it for this week, and then next week I shall reveal. You're going to reveal. Well, it's not that. It takes me a, a, a good solid month to it's, grow my stuff. There's a couple of sprigs, but they're flesh colored, and it threw me off a little bit. <laughs> Just a little are we, bit. Are we st we're still talking about this. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Yes, we're just talking about your beard. You, uh, you were very good on the celebrity name game. I had the best time. Um, I was a little upset that we didn't win more. I felt that we should have won more. Well, you don't win in. You're the celebrity. Well, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I came and brought my A game, and I just felt like we should have won more. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's legally, you can't, I can't help you. You can't? Because, no, it's, there's, uh, there's cops waiting at the side of the stage. There if I make one false death. move, yes. jail. Yes, you know. yes, it's very true. Yeah. But it's a fun game. Like, it makes you, right? Yeah, celebrity name game is fun. It makes you rethink things. You have to think of interesting ways to describe people. Yeah, and polite ways, too. Because... Polite. <laughs> there was one clue that was not polite. I don't know if you remember when what I was, was on there. It was a character on The Sopranos. Oh, yeah, I remember that. The character of Big Bucket. The Sopranos, yeah. And do you remember the lady who was who was making me guess? She couldn't say the word, but she went like this. <laughs> I knew it was a, like it's an afternoon show, so they cut her from the waist. But this is she did this, and I said, "Uh oh." I am so not proud of myself. I'm not proud. Yeah, but but you got the clue. You I won did the money, the didn't you? Win the money. I did. I, did. I was. No, so that's all right. And you're doing the uh, the odd couple. I am. I'm working with with Thomas Lennon, who you love. Oh, I love Tom. Yeah. And uh, Matthew Perry. So. Oh, Matthew, he's all right, I guess. He's, he's yeah, okay. he's all right. He's on a little show called Friends. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then Lindsay Sloan, who you also know and love. Yes. Wendell, and... Wendell Pierce. So it's a great group of people. Oh, nice. Yeah. When did you start that? We started in August, right after my birthday. Oh, when's it was your a birthday? Great birthday? August 12th. August 12th. I, I take gifts early or late, depending on the time of year. Well, do, are you going to have a big celebration? I might, because I'm turning 25. Again. Well, then you should. Again. <laughs> no. No. No, 25. You're going 25. to. You should have a party. Wear that dress. I should wear this dress again. Yeah, you, you guys act it. like you never saw it before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, wait, wait. Yeah, you can't invite these people to your party. Why can't they're lovely people? No, Why hey, well, hold on a second. Them? Hey. <laughs> a lady hate me there. I'm like, I, I saw who did it too. Oh, you she did. Like she could take you. I'd be a little concerned. I don't know. They're, they've been a little mad at me since they realized that they're here on World Vasectomy Day. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The snips, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, me, I'm still... You still all together? Oh, yeah, I, everything's still... Still working? You, well, uh, working's... <laughs> working's a big word, but, yeah. uh, you know... It's still intact. It's still intact. Yes, yeah, it's I intact. still, I still got it all, uh, going on. Yeah, would you ever? Yeah, I would, actually. You would? Yeah, 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 I've got two kids now, I'm like, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'd do it, yeah. Do it? Okay. Yeah, I'd I think it's very kind when a, when a husband will do that so the wife can just kind of relax a little bit. <laughs> oh, right? yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm like, what the yeah. hell? Just yeah. relax. Yeah, all Take right. Hmm. Yeah. So, you got a pet? <laughs> I don't have a pet, and the reason I don't is because I'm never home, and I kind of feel like I want the dog or cat to have a good life. Well, you could have a cat. Well, they don't. I want them to care when I come home, though. Like, cats? Uh, they're lovely. 
lovely. Cats are lovely, but they just really could care less. They're not that lovely. They are, well, send your letters. <laughs> send your letters to... No, the cats are fine. I love cats, yeah. as you know. Uh, <laughs> No, oh, you, you could have a pet. I could, you know, I'm thinking about, I want to start small, so maybe a goldfish. That's actually, that's a harder pet to it, Why is it a hard, why? Well, uh, my goldfish, uh, recently I changed the water, and, mm -hmm. and then I had to tell the kids he's on vacation. Oh, did he? <laughs> They're like ficus. If you move them, they die. I, I they did, don't I mean, like I, it. I've, I've had him for quite a long time, and he's on vacation. He'll be, he'll be back. Yeah, but, and uh, looking yeah. exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you have a goldfish when you were a kid? No, but I want one now because I heard that their attention span and their memory is very short. So my thought is if they don't see me, they won't know that they don't, they haven't. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know if I believe that though. No? No, because when you go up to the goldfish uh, bowl and the fish is like, hey, food, it's that thing that brings food. Now, if its attention span is, is, span is so short, then how come it knows it brings? Well, how do you know it's not coming just to say hello because you're new in its environment because it doesn't remember you? <laughs> You know, you should have your own show on Discovery. <laughs> Just make up fun facts. Yeah, yeah, make up, make up stuff, put it on Discovery or yes. something, or Nat Geo, and yeah. uh, just say, you know, Crikey. I know about the world. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll yeah. Do, do it. you ever watch those shows? I do. It's actually my dad's favorite channel, so we watch that all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, we watch him scuba diving, and he likes the shark the sharks. You like the shark oh, week? my God, he loves seeing people die because of sharks. <laughs> There, he loves violence. I don't know what it is. You know, it's sharks. It's kind of, it's hard to explain. I, yeah. I, I you like, watch Shark Week? I've, I've done shark diving for Shark Week. No. Yes. Why would you do that? Because I like sharks. Really? Uh, they asked me, and I was like, yeah, I'll do it. And were I you, felt really good about were it. Were right you in the cage? Nope. <gasps> Just right in? That's right, girl. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just put on a skin-tight neoprene suit, yeah. dived in the water with a big, dangerous fish. That's, that's pretty hot, Craig. That's right. It's pretty hot. It was in the Bahamas, too. So it was literally hot. It was pretty hot, hot, actually, yeah. It was, it was it's pretty, pretty hot. hot, yeah. Yeah. Well, you should do that. I, no, I will never. Okay. Well, we're out of time. Are we out of time? Yeah, it yeah. It went so quickly. Women have said that to me before. <laughs> the show tonight, Jeff? Well, I learned that uh, I don't have a penis, but I think about yours a lot. <laughs> Did you learn anything? Yeah, I learned that uh, when you're in the early stages of growing a mustache, it's best to stand as far away from the camera as possible. <laughs> are, you, uh, are you warming your lone gonad by the fire? <laughs> yep. <laughs> By the way, Lone Gonad is going to be my name when I walk the earth. Oh, is that <laughs>